cast every worry, every problem, every situation to you, Lord. I bind and break the power, spirit, worry, fear, doubt, witchcraft, arrogance to go from here right now in Jesus' mighty name. I lose the power and nothing. Holy Spirit, minister, angel, the love and joy, the peace of God in Jesus' name. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Father, in Jesus' name, I surrender myself to you, Lord. Holy Spirit, come and take over your servant. And not your servant heart and mind live to release your word. Thank you, Lord, the Spirit of the Lord upon me because anoint me in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Pastor, for giving me the opportunity to share here. How are you doing today? Amen. Wonderful, great. Selalu I kata, Hebat, dahsyat, luar biasa. Yeah? Great, fantastic, and supernatural. That is the Christian way of life. So I want to ask you, are you a minister? How, how many of you are minister? Can I see your hand? Yes, you must know you are minister. Because every Christian are minister. Right? Can you put on it? Revelation 1, 5 and 6. Revelation 5, 1 and 6. Jesus has cleansed you from all the sin by his blood. And make you king and priest. Wow, what is meaning of king and priest? Huh? Revelation 1, 5 and 6. You got it? The part. Yeah. <laughs> because I used to minister in Philippines, uh, no, in Indonesia. Sometimes I mix up with. Yeah? From Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from dead, ruler of all kings of the earth, to him who loved us, wash us from our sin with his own blood. Proclaim that every day. We are washed by the blood of Christ. Amen? We have power in the blood of Christ. Verse number six. You see, now we look here. And make us king and priest. Wow, you are king and priest. Are you a king? Are you a priest? So they see here, to be glory and domination forever. Amen? So you must know that I am a king. You say, I am a king. In Jesus I am the king, I am priest. That means you are his warrior, king. You are his warrior, king means you are his warrior. Priest, you are his prayer. So are you using the power of the king given to you to do a spiritual warfare? So, so if Jesus come today, are you ready? Wow, are you ready when Jesus comes today? Look at this. What actually caused us? Take a look at Hebrew 12, 14. Make peace with everyone and be holy. Hebrew 12, 14. Can you take it around? 12, 14. And what actually caused you from the glory of the Lord or from the grace of the Lord? Hebrew 12, 14. We're going to do it. 12, 14, and 15. And whether you have a bitter root. Hebrew 12, 14. Oh, no, Hebrew 12, 14. Yeah, this <laughs> revelation. Very interesting too. Hebrew 12, 14. Hebrew, Ibrani. Hebrew 12, 14, and 15. Okay? Pursue peace. Wow, pursue peace. Are you in peace with everybody? Do you have love? When you have peace, you have love. Are you peaceful? And holiness. Wow. Which, without which no one will see God. Lord. If you have pursued peace with everybody, you have no more condemnation. You, don't ne you will never talk bad about people. You will never belittle about people. If you are doing this today, you have anger or you have offended. Yeah? That means you have strife, you have no peace. Look at this. Look carefully, lest anyone fall short of grace of God. Woo. When you have no peace and no holiness, what does this mean? Anyone fall, 
is short of grace of the Lord. And any root of bitterness spring up that cause trouble, and this become defiled. What does it mean? That means you're going to fall from the grace. You're going to fall into the pit of hell. So today, this is an anti-message. Look into you if you have any root of bitterness. Look deeply into you. My friend, are you still condemning your friend? Is, are you still talking little, belittle your friend? That means you have root of bitterness. Are you envy? Are you angry? Yesterday, I went to the shop to eat something. I want to eat curry. Yeah, after pitching in the evening. I bang at the curve, a little bit curve. What do you say when you bang on something? I, I, only this morning, I look at my car, eh? Then turn at the side there, in the middle of the door. I say, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What happened is that in mind, because why we say thank you? I don't even look at my car. We don't have the root of bitterness. We are not angry at ourselves. But we say thank you because it reminds us to be very, very careful. Anything happens for a purpose. If you think that, why are you, why are you angry? Why people horn at me? Last Thursday, I was sending my son to the office. And suddenly, when I was driving, I saw one car coming like that. Top. I didn't know that. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit in you, you immediately you know the car is there coming. You slow down. So, when you have bitterness, it causes you, many become defiled. Don't think that you, yes, we are saved by grace. By grace, we are saved. Take a look at what happened in Hebrew, Hebrews 6, 4 to 6. Come take a Hebrew 4 to 6. So today, you must, anything, you have root of bitterness today, make it, you cut it up. Lord Jesus, I have this bitterness. Come Holy Spirit and cleanse it away. Even from your heart. Because, oh, I'm angry a little while. That is also, you have root of bitterness. Can I say Hebrew? Yeah. For it's impossible for those who are once enlightened, for it is, it is, it is, you see, what does it mean? In May. For those who are once enlightened and have tasted heavenly gift and have become the practical of Holy Spirit. Jesus wants you to feel Holy Spirit every moment of your life. Do you have that? Ooh. That means, before you anything, you will surely pray in tongue. Automatically, automatically, you are praying in tongue. You will never do. You intend to sin. Holy Spirit. So if you are dead, that means you don't have the root. You cannot see the root. But we can see the fruits of bitterness. Look at here. Have tested the good word of God, the power of the age to come. Continue. Six. If they have fall away, to renew again to repentance since they crucify again for themselves the son of god put them in open shame wow can you take a look at another hebrew 10 hebrew 10 i think 26 or 26 to 31 hebrew 10 jesus talk about this you've fallen from grace yeah so today we want to be fullness of Holy Spirit. Then your sin has been crucified. You intend to sin. Before anything, you, you, you already crucified the sin. Sin comes from where? It's from the Iblis. From the devil. Want you to sin. In the end, oh, so that means you are fullness of Holy Spirit. For if we sin willingly after we have received what? Knowledge of truth is grace. There's no longer remain a sacrifice of sin. 
27. But suddenly, fearful expectation, wow! Fearful expectation of judgment. That's why today, I'd like to you to be fullness of Holy Spirit. Yes? And fiery indignation which are devoted to the adversary, you see? Look at here. So I want every, I like every one of you to pray and pray. Because this end time, you are warrior, you are priest and royal priesthood. You are king. King means you fight. Are you fighting? Anyone have reject Moses' law, die without mercy on testimony of two or three weakness, continue 29. Until 31 we do. How much more worse punishment? Worse punishment. See? Do you suppose to be true worthy or tram the son of underfoot count the blood of covenant which was sanctified common thing insult insulted the spirit of grace insulted a spirit of grace when you insult a spirit of grace the grace will be taken from you continue wow for we knew who say vengeance is mine i will pray say the lord again the lord will judge his people continue the last 31 it's fearful thing to fall in the hand of living god don't think that you cannot fall in the hand of the living God. So today we're not talking about the grace is always with you, but you have to protect your grace. Because you are king and priest. Are you doing his work? See? That's why every one of us are minister. Are minister. Last Sunday, I was in, uh, we went to Pulau, Pulau, Pulau Besar. Who knows Pulau Besar yeah? Everybody, anybody know Pulau Besar? Nah, Pulau Besar lah, Melaka. Have you been there? No one has been there. Oh, I've been there. Yes, they, we went there to fight. You are so near, you never go there. Do you know I have, to, I have drive around here to pray, you know? I, I drive the Melaka town a few times already to pray to break down the wall of Jericho because I know I'm a warrior. I know I mean come here, the devil shake. So you must know you are king, you are priest. So you must protect our people, protect everyone. Evangelism is very simple. It's very easy because you know that you have the fullness of his power. You must know that you have fullness of power of God. So go. Go. I always enjoy it because oh you come to Saramban. Oh very nice drive. Go to go to go to JB. I drive. I pray in the Holy Spirit. If let's say I give you a job, I give you two thousand dollars to fly, yeah. To drive to JB. You like it? But God is going to give you more. Pray. But many of you complain. Many of us start to complain our life because you have root of bitterness. You ask yourself, are you complaining? Are you yourself, are you angry? Ask yourself, hey, when, the, when the pastor preached here, when the Holy Spirit led him to preach, you talk about the one of them here, you pointing a gun, you pointing his hand there. He don't know who. Wow. Who have, who are very angry or anything like that. Ooh, he ran away from church. So look at yourself today. You don't let the root of bitterness become to insult your grace. Because if you allow that the devil to penetrate you, more and more devil are going to penetrate you. Because you are king, you are priest. Jesus wants you to fight to prepare for his second coming. See? To break down of all the, the devil. I went, our team, our team went to Pura Basal. Do you know, we put a flag of blood there. Who? Oh, on the sea, the flag become one flag moving like this. Who? Oh, quite some time. And then we can see angels up there. Who oh, are like angels. We went around. And last Wednesday, 
Wednesday, I went to KLCC, be another pastor from India. We went around and prayed. Oh, shakurapa, shakurapa. And then we went down to well, Central Station. We face all the, we go around all the, all the idol worshippers. Prapa, shatara, we pray. What we believe, we break down the wall of Jericho. You must know that you have the strongest of power of God. Can we take a look at uh, Philippians 2, Philipp, uh, Philippians 2, 13 and 2, 14. So, you are chosen to do His will. So today, you want to have the grace, fullness of grace upon you. Just now, wow, grace upon grace. Glory or glory. Do His work full with full heart. You got it? Philippians 2, 13 and 14. Yes. Philippians 2, 13 and 14. It's God who works in you, the work work in you both to His will to do His good pleasure. What do you want you to do? Do His work without complaining. Come on, 14. Do all things without complaining and disputing. Wow, very far. La. I have to wake up very early morning at 3 o'clock to pray. Ooh. I wake up this morning. Of course, today I don't, up, I don't wake up early. I wake up at 4 o'clock. <laughs> I pray not so early. Sometimes it's 2 something. Yeah, I pray for a while already. Because I know I want to come here. So I, I pray for a while, maybe one hour, then I go to sleep again. Do you know one time I start, I start to do God ministry from, from 2010? Yeah, 2010, go call out to a ministry. So in 2015, I done my surgery here, three part. Yeah, what is that? Uh, the, this, uh, I don't know what you call that already. The, the nerve licking. Why call it, last, doctor? Huh? Yeah, this is licking only. The doctor scraped up the three places. Uh, S, S1, S, forgotten S, uh, what else? L4, L5, or something like that. Lah. Yeah, three places. Of course, I got a blessing from the, from the Lord. And then the doctor, I went to other, other clinic. Wow, very expensive. Lah. The doctor said at least 60 to, his fees about 60 to 80,000. Wow, you see. So his fees alone, around that. Lah. He said, if very long, you have to take maybe. So I went, I pray, pray, and Lord, Lord showed me to another place. Yeah. I went to a beacon hospital. The doctor said, what job you have insurance or not? I say no insurance. I forget to pay the insurance. <laughs> yeah, because I do God ministry, I clear forget to pay. <laughs> Actually, what happened that? Oh, cut a story short. Oh, he charged me twenty thousand. Wow, twenty eight thousand plus all the fees of the hospital. Who oh, you? Every people, I tell you. Cut a story short. <coughs> do you know? I complain because I was in a wheelchair for about. One man, anything. Can, can walk, but very slow. But I always complain, you know. Holy, why, Lord? I pray for people got healed. What happened to me? I do your work. Ask me to go to India, the place nobody go when I go. Why is this, Lord? Do you know what happened? Immediately I eat, you know, makan, eat. Immediately feel hungry. Very uneasy, uneasiness. Because I complain and complain, ask God, Why? I complain, you know. Immediately I eat hungry. Want to eat also cannot lah. Yo, mau makan pun tak boleh ya. You see, but if you very hungry, very uneasy. Hey, yo, you have that situation, I tell you. Every time I eat, I feel hungry. Very uneasy. And one day, Pastor Menam Fall, my teacher was preaching. Do not ask God why. Do not complain. Do not tell me, oh, I do this work, Lord God. Oh, yo. Immediately I say, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> forgive me, Lord. You know what happened, my brother and sister? Immediately my uneasiness is gone. Today, no complaint. Do you know, i still walking like this in, in October. I walk like this. Lord asked me to go to Cambodia. I went to Cambodia. See? You know what happened? Before I went to Cambodia, one pastor asked me to come to Ipoh. I would like you to dance. Oh, yo. 
I didn't go. I went to Cambodia. You know what they were telling me? Ipo cannot go. How come you go to Cambodia? What happened in Cambodia? Six hours by car. Oh, because actually I cannot sit long, you know, last time. Six hours by car and tum 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 like, like that also. Wow, see, you know what the devil said? Before in Cambodia, I was in. Before I went to Siam Reap that time. Before in Siam Reap, I was in Phnom Penh. Phnom Penh, I went to preach in one church. They said, the devil said, you see no fire. But people speak in tongue. Second church is a, is a home, no? Church, no fire. Go home. The church, I don't complain. I still go. No fire can go. You see. The Lord Jesus said, as long as one people speak in tongue, there's good work already. I tell you, the third church, the third home, boom! The fire came out. Every, blah, 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 blah. Oh, you see, you see? No complain. I never complain. Just go, go, go. When you start complaining in life, that means you have root of bitterness, even though, oh, very far. Lah. See? When, your wife, when you want to start to give from, uh, donation to somebody, your wife says, don't give. You want to give food to somebody, you don't give. Oh, that means... <laughs> Your wife, your husband got a little bit of bitterness. You see, pray, no complaint. Now, recently when I was, recently, I think two weeks ago, two weeks ago, somebody talked to me about certain pastor. Wow, talk about certain pastor. You see, this, this pastor nearly, nearly seen. Yeah, nearly, nearly raped a girl. You know why I say? Look here. Did, did the pastor read, rap the girl? No. You know what happened? When I, I asked the Lord, Lord, you know, I was there, Jesus was there to protect him. And what happened? So many start to talk bad about our pastor. Wow, that is also root of bitterness. We are our brother and sister about to fall, about to attack by devil. You start to condemn him. You start to run away from him. You understand? Understand or not? There are many of the pastors about to fall, attacked by devil, but you put in fire again, put in fire again. You never protect. That means you have the root of bitterness. It's true today. If any pastor wants to help, it will happen to you. The devil can attack you. The devil can attack you. Gives you some girls. Oh, Rory, dance in front of you ought to pray for him. Wow, you two pastor go to go to apa itu apa car okay ka? like that like that because actually the, the devil is holding hands push him push him to go to test him. But you instead of praying for him you condemn him. So send more devil. Today there is Christian. There are Christian with bitterness. Anybody fall you might want about to fall, pray for him, pray for him. Don't condemn him. So you must get rid of all the bitterness that you have today. I surrender myself to you, Lord. I surrender my heart. Come and cleanse me from all this root of bitterness that you have. Don't let me, I don't want to fall, in the, fall into the, the insult grace. I also don't want my brother or my children to fall into the foot of Satan. Let's say you see your sister, your blood sister, about to fall, about to fall in the pit. You go and push her, or you can help her. That you pray. Many church today, instead of helping, you are pushing more, more into the pit. Get more people to insult. Never, oh, yeah, like this, this pastor wants to sin. But you think the pastor wants to sin? Because the devil wants the pastor to fall in the pit of fire. But you push some of fire. Oh, push. That's why today you need to pray. How many hours you pray? I, because this church is a fire church. That's why they can come here. On, on 18, I'm going to Sukabumi. Have you know where Sukabumi? In Jakarta. 18, 18 until 22nd, I will be in Sukabumi. 
immediately when I landed in, in Jakarta, I will take a, a train, huh? they, they call bus, they call bus, bus is a fast train, very train to Bandung, and Bandung, <coughs> the pastor waiting for me to take another, uh, I think, two hours by car to this Sukabumi. Seven o'clock, se seven o'clock, they, they start they start the service, 7.30. Police. When I come back, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th, I will be doing work for my company. When I do work for my company, I can claim. If I cannot, <laughs> this means this trip, I can claim the airfare. See? And then when I come back on the 27th, I go back. I go to Hyderabad. Wow, see? This to work. I never complain. I go to Hyderabad until 2nd, and on the 3rd, I will be in Del New Delhi. When I come back, <laughs> you know where I go? I go to Talab, Indonesia. Talau, you know where is Talau? You haven't heard Talau is an island. I had to fly from, from Jakarta, uh, from KL, Jakarta, Jakarta, take a flight to Talau. One, one week, one flight only. No complaint, I go to work. I don't know where I'm staying. I have stayed in a place where there's no, where there's no, no mall. No, no mall, never mind. No, no shop, no hotel. Yeah, you just imagine, you can see the glory of the Lord when you do His work. When you see His glory on the Lord Jesus Christ, when you have received the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ, not talking about money anymore. Don't talking about, wow, less any more pain. Let's do the work of the God. No more complaining. Go and do. Pray, 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 pray. Yeah. I have come here to talk about prayer, pray, pray. Have you prayed? How long have you prayed? Again, how long have you prayed? Have you prayed at least one hour non-stop a day? Three times? I encourage you, three times, one hour non-stop a day. One day, that means non-stop prayer. Start the half an hour. You cannot start the 20 minutes. No interruption. Put the phone away, everything away. I also I shut the door. My cat cannot disturb me. Yeah, because yeah, I got my, my, my daughter cat sent to me. The cat like to play with me because I saved the cat from the street. So I have saved the cat from the street and then I, I get people to adopt. Yeah. So this is the way. No distraction. Pray until you, you, you are in His glory. Every day you must be in His glory. This kind of prayer that you have to do. How to start? In life, there are peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Are you in a peace and joy in the Holy Spirit? Ask yourself today. Are you have peace? Jesus said in John 14, 27, peace I give you. My peace I live with you. Look at here. If you have the peace of Lord Jesus, come and put it in. Can read? It's very interesting you read. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. Not as the world give you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither be afraid. Your heart no more trouble, no more afraid. Go anywhere. Mati, mati lah. Because saya sudah mati. I already died. I go anywhere and you think no trouble. I have made many trouble. But I tell you, there's three one time I was in a place. Three people want to beat me. Have you made a big size? Big, big two want to beat me? What happened? Instead of I lari, I run. The three person was shaking. The face become pale. Oh. And then he ran off to the lorry. You see, because let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. I was in India, Orissa. Have you heard of Orissa? Yes. Wow. During the Hindu festival, two big size Hindu, big some of them outside came at the door, eh? very angry. You know what Holy Spirit say? Invite them to come in. Ask them to talk. They stand up. 
I welcome you. Instead of the face very, very angry, when you come out in the presence and the glory of the Lord, I welcome you. I welcome you. Thank you very much to come here and share good news. Like that only. Praise the Lord. Our what? peace I have given you. My peace I live with you. You must believe that you have this peace in life. When the root of bitterness is not with you. Always, yes, I have my peace. I have a peace of God. Yeah. Because blood, because Jesus' blood, always talk about his blood. Yeah. How often you take holy communion, my sister? How often? Take as often. Yeah? Once a month. Oh, Try to take every day. You remind me, remind me to take every day or so now. Last time I take every day. Now I take about maybe four or five times a week. Yeah. Sometimes twice a day. But today I'm going to do it every day. Yeah. Normally last time, early morning I get up. I, when I pray, I take Holy Communion. Afternoon I take up Holy Communion. Sometimes one day, three or four times. Because my peace I give you. And my peace, I live with you. Wow, sister. You saw the peace of Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, so nice. Everywhere. You go anywhere. What people do to you, happy unit. Because you talk about just now. Jesus said to me, I'm light of the world. Right? I'm light of the world. Whoever follow me. John 8, 8 12. I'm light of the world. Whoever follow me will never walk in darkness. When you walk in darkness, you're very happy, you know? Hey, you're full of happiness, joy. When people look at you, oh, you see, so joyful, so happy. You are young, see? Because your face is shining. See? But have light of life. Jesus spoke to them again. I'm light of the world. Whoever follow me, I like to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Are you follow Jesus? When you follow Jesus, you walk like Him. The work that I do, He will do also. And greater work than this, He will do. John 14, 12. But are you doing the greater work of His? <laughs> so, when you walk in His light, you never sin. When you walk this light, that means your Holy Spirit is shining brighter and brighter. See? So make sure that you always put, put oil. Put oil. Are you carrying the oil? Pray in the Holy Spirit all the time. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 17, 18. Be joyful always. You see? You have joy of the Lord in the Holy Spirit already. Be joyful always, happy. People slap you. Bam! Oh, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Because I'm not angry last time. I angry only a little bit. Oh, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Last time I want to give him back. Today I just say thank you, thank you, Jesus. Tahan. Okay. First Thessalonians 5, 16, 17, 18. Be joyful always. Anything happen. Whoa, people last time horn at me. One people want to overtake me like this. Wow, I'm happy. Yeah, maybe, yeah. When I was, was worshipping pagan, when people want to overtake me, I like Laju. Who oh, you say, how come it overtake my car? My car is big car, nice car. He only buy me when it overtake me. Oh, you say. First Thessalonians 5, 16. 17 and 18, we could do that. So you must be joyful always all the life of time because Jesus has given you peace. My peace lives with you. See? Are you able to be joyful always? Then what do you do? You have to pray without ceasing. Every time pray, pray, pray. Yeah? Watching TV also, you can pray. You know that when I stop pitching right now, I, my tongue starts to pray. It's praying now. Continue. 17. Pray beyond ceasing. 
and then be thankful. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Every day we can, how many times? Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. When you give thanks to the Lord, that means you are joyful. When you have this peace, always remember, peace, I give you my peace. I live with you. You can imagine that. Whenever you have no peace. Why you have no peace? Why you are not joy? Because of the devil. We are children of God, full of his power. Like that. Because your arm, your arm are fight for better. Your finger, your, your arm is for war and your finger is for that's why you are his priest, you are his king. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. He wants you to reclaim the treasure that been stolen for you and for his for your children and the children's children. Yeah. But you are sitting down there, you don't want to pray. Ask you to pray without ceasing, pray all the time. But sometimes you don't pray. Watching TV also pray. Don't let the TV dis disturb you. Because sometimes your wife asks you to see TV. Sometimes your husband asks you to see TV. Sometimes your children ask you to see TV. Sometimes entertain them. But you pray. Make sure the TV program won't disturb you. You pray. Because it's giving thanks. Today when you go back, somebody overtake you. Yeah, somebody don't jump you. Give them love. Yeah. That it's okay if you get irritated. You pray. Amen. Amen. If yesterday, if this morning, yesterday you only pray one hour, total one hour by whole in Holy Spirit. Today you go back. I want to pray two hours. When you hit two hours, right in the book. Buku tiga lima. Do you know I I have uh, like called to buku tiga lima. I write down. I you know how I start my ministry. I have a paper today. I pray how many hours? Today I pray how many hours? I pray in tongue how many hours? I read how many hours? I wash how many hours? I dance. Who rapa karasya? They we went to to Malacca. You know we went to the what we call the place. I don't know where. So many people go there. You know I go there. Tamra chata ramba karam. You know what I'm doing? Huh? I'm stamping on the devil. Believe that you're stamping on the devil. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. You thank you because you are there to fight. So you must know that you are his warrior. Yep. You are my you are his priest and king. Are you his priest and king? When you're king, you're going to reclaim all, all the treasure, all the treasure. Never mind, for your children, for your grand-grandchildren, do you like that? Do you like that when your grand-grandchildren for all the treasure, when you go up there, wow, you need say, me, chu 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 chi 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 chi. Wow, my kaya. Yeah. Very good doctor. Very good doctor. You have many, doc many doctors in the family. When up there, this doctor is giving free, free medication. When you are children of Christ, you shall have no lack. You know what is lack, Jesus tell me? There are many businessmen. This encourage. There are many businessmen, a lot of money, cannot go for holiday. Want to go for holiday? He re oh, I have to go back to do surgery. Surgery. See? That means we are not on holiday. Sometimes you need to hurry, take your children for holiday. I I am a scuba diver. Who do scuba, scuba diving here? Scuba diving? No, go down underwater. Today I go down underwater to pray, to fight with the devil. And I have been to the most beautiful place in the world. There are many doctors who want to go, my friend. They got a lot of money, but they cannot go. Amen. I I've been, I've been to many, many places. When God asks me to go, I go. But I, I enjoy myself. Down in the water, so interesting. And I pray. 
I go to Pulau Besar, we stand, we didn't go, we stand in the water there and pray. So you just imagine. Again, you must be a warrior. Always know that the devil already under your feet. I always like to this, the devil under your feet. Romans 16, 20. Yeah. We're going to pray for everybody afterwards. Make sure you come to get an impartation. Yeah. Always believe that you must, you are a warrior. Today, you know you are royal priesthood, chosen generation. Yeah. And you are his warrior, you are his king. When the blood is on you, healing is taking place. When Holy Spirit and not you is taking place. You must believe. You are his warrior. Romans 16, 20. Got it? And God of peace, you see? God of peace. Peace, I give you my peace. I live with you. God of peace already with you. Will crash Satan under your feet? The grace of Lord Jesus Christ be with you. You see? When you do that, believe that you have this power under your feet. The grace of the Lord be with you. Just imagine the grace of Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Not only that, peace of God is with you. Remember when you go anywhere, oh, you're stepping, you walk. Remember you are stepping on the devil everywhere you go. Believe that you are crashing down the devil. You don't have to walk like me like this sometimes. Sometimes I walk like this. Stop. You can do that. Believe you're stepping on the devil wherever you go because you are carrying the light of Jesus. Jesus said, the work that I do, you will do also. Great the work and this you will do. Yeah. There are many Bible words that is under your feet. Psalm 91, 13, Take a look. All kind of devil, different, different devil mentioned there is under your feet. You can mention, yes, all the devil under your feet. You go everywhere. See? They are talab, they are going there. And many bomb more there. When you call bomb more there, oh, you see, I like to go and fight. Oh. You shall tread upon the lion. You see, lion? The scopra, the young lion and serpent, all trample underfoot. All different, different kind of devil. Big devil, small devil. Yeah. So he says, under my foot, everywhere you go, you must believe that you are his king. Of king. You're called to fight. Second Corinthians, Second Corinthians 10, 3, 4. Maybe 3 and 4. You're called to fight. Always read, and then, yes, I am his warrior. I'm going to fight with all this, the other area of darkness. Second Corinthians 10, 3 and 4. Because today, we have to teach this. Man, you must, until you go, really, you must know that you are his super warrior. We walk in fresh, but we not war according to fresh, you see? Continue. Here we do only five, four. For the weapon of warfare are not cannon, but you see, mighty in a God for pulling down stronghold. You have all this weapon in your hand, on your foot. You are pulling down all the stronghold. Go and put out all the stronghold in Saramban, and then the revival will come to Negeri Sembilan. Be part of the revival team. Be his warrior. You can stay here and pray to support the warrior. Amen? Put down the stronghold. Yo, yo, you have all this weapon. You have fullness of this weapon. Are you using? Are you using that? When you pray, you must believe you are pulling down his stronghold. You say, King Jesus is King of Kings. So, Jesus is Lord of Lords. 
go to every place you see. Every place you go, you say, Jesus is King of kings. Jesus is Lord of lords. In the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and those on earth and those under the earth. And every knee must bow. And everyone must confess, Jesus is the Lord. Open their mouth and believe. So when you do this, you know that you are pulling down his stronghold. Always, before you do anything, you pray. Because the spirit of grace is upon you. The spirit of go peace of God is upon you. The only thing is live in righteousness. When you live righteousness, run after him. You know, I run after God. When I was... I was looking for God all the time, even from when I was very, very young. Because my father, when I was very young, before I go to school, I think age of four or five or six, my father always take me around, take me around to cari Ampak Eko. What is Ampak Eko? Huh? <laughs> Ampak Eko. They always go to the tree, go to everywhere. To, oh, I, I will, if I, my father would take me. I was so confused. Here is God, there is God, there is God. I was looking for God everywhere. My father go, yeah. Even a very, very young, young age, I hear that any temple is Chunna, they call Chunna. I will go. Yeah. When I was worshipping the idol, any place I go, Chun Chun, I go. I go to the Indian God, I go to to the I go also go to the Taiwan, even the Bomo also I go, Chun Chun Ma. <laughs> <laughs> so I was so confused. Here, God, there, God. I was looking for God everywhere. When I came face to face with big Satan, I, I came face to face with Satan and also face to face with Kunyam. And also I came face to face with Jesus. When I face to face with Kunyam, Kunyam tell me, do not bow at me. That time I, began, I haven't become a Christian yet. Kunyam tell me, do not bow at me. I was in Karat Temple. Do not bow at me. And do not worship me. If I were to, I were to bow at him, huh? he said, so many of us have to go very, very far down. I didn't know that. That is 1995. Until 2001, 2008, I become a Christian. Only I know. Because Jesus already hold a hand. When I will let you go, because you are chosen generation, royal priesthood. They already selected you before you are born. So when you are chosen one, they always follow you. He know your heart, they will run after you. Jesus know and run after the Lord. You see why I do his work? Because the moment before I accept Jesus, I was owing people two million ringgit. Personal debt, but two million ringgit. And the time when I accept, before I accept Jesus, Jesus gave me a business of two million ringgit to buy a company of two million ringgit, pay by installment. Begin one year, I settled, pay by installment, maybe three thousand. And then the personal debt, begin two and a half years, I settled everything. Just imagine. And he blessed me back. The time, the time when owing people two million, I sold two big factory. Today I get back two bigger factory. Wow, it's so amazing when I buy the roof factory. I don't have time to share the place. Maybe some of you have already heard this testimony. I'm gonna encourage you again, share the testimony. Whatever, you know, when I was in Malacca the other day, last week, the boatman, in the boatman, or oh, this his name I've forgotten of uh I forgot man, his name is is a Malay man, Malay boy. You know, you know. I tell him, do you know last time what he 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 asked me what do you do? Oh, do you know last time I owe people two million ringgit, and because Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ blessed me to buy a company. Oh, I share the testimony. I just share. You don't have to chain them. You just share testimony, because in this country you cannot preach to them. You can share your testimony. I encourage you to share the testimony. Yesterday also I shared my testimony. 
each time, Jesus tell me, each time when you share your testimony, you are blessed with new things. Even the same thing, the same thing. Each time you, sh you read the Bible and you believe, you are blessed. Because when you read the Bible, you believe, that means you are blessing Lord Jesus Christ. Each time you share your testimony, the one who believes it, he are blessed. And you are his blessed. Again and again. You see, I have been to the best diving place, the spot in the world. When God take me, I go. And every place I go, let's say they want to go to, people, people go to Sipadan Island. There are three things they want to see. I think three or four things they want to see. But when I just go there, everything I saw. My daughter was so excited. Wow, everything follow you, everything I want to see. The thing stated there, you did it. God wants to have intimacy. In order to have intimacy with God, you must have fellowship with Lord Jesus Christ. How much time you spend with Lord Jesus Christ? You don't have to work eight hours a day. When you can worship, when you have fellowship with Jesus Christ eight hours a day, I tell you, life will be changed. Instead of working eight hours a day, the angels will help you to work eight hours a day. If you enjoy yourself, you don't know, oh, eight hours already passed. Do you know during the week, during the COVID, during the COVID, our company hit the highest sale and make the highest profit. And then we only have, I think, 50% or 60% workforce, I've forgotten. But of course, we manipulate a bit. How we manipulate? The salesperson already go out, salesperson go out, lorry go out, and then be, oh, mama, you come in. Yeah, because they check the factory, how many of them in. So we got maybe extra 10%. And then the boss go back home. I go back home, they all, the workers, packers come in. But, and the Holy Spirit tell me, you don't have to worry. Angels will help you to pack. Why? We don't have to work over time, because sometimes Saturday we work anything. Or, yeah, tell you. We finish very fast. When you run after God, God wishes us to run after you. But no complain. People complain. Before anything, they complain, they complain. How? When you complain, the pocket bocho, you know, in Haggai 1 6. Uh. Can you put on Haggai 1 6? Very interesting. Pocket bocho. Wow. Because sometimes, <laughs> bocho. Because today, a new anointing, I don't know why. I was trying to forget about you. Haggai 1, uh, one six, I think. So you see, no complain. La. Everything, don't complain. Everything. If you're complaining, uh, the habit of people, so, yeah. Forget about you. See, take a forget about you. See, uh, Haggai 1, six. Okay. Now, you see, you have shown mass and bring in little. You eat, what eat, but always not enough. You drink, you know, feel big drink. You clothe yourself, but no one wants. Then ye earn wages, wages put into the bag, beat what? Holes. All this hole, complaining, complaining, all the all the sin you have done, or lying la this and that. Yeah. See? Bitterness la. So don't let her pocket go holes. Like that. Worry so much. I don't worry so much. I don't worry anything. I'm gonna bring a team of dancers to, to Malacca. Hopefully, I can do it next, next, next year. Yeah. 
quite a quite number of, not so much a budget because we already uh, get a, a place free. I don't have to bring, bring in the, uh, because we have so many dancers from Sabah, Sarawak. I've got to bring, bring some uh, from Indonesia also, spirit dancers. So I hope you all can come and see. Yeah. So it's just amazing. Make sure you don't have holes in the pocket. Make sure you take a look. You go and see whether always the checklist. So in the Bible, so much of checklist, whether you have seen or not. Go and read. Ask the Holy Spirit to cleanse you. I surrender my heart to you, Lord. If you have any of the loopholes or all the bitterness in your heart today, ask the Holy Spirit, surrender your heart to the Holy Spirit. You see, many of us go holes. Yeah. Always talk bad about people. See? Do you know, I go anywhere. Sometimes I purposely have fellowship with the pastor. Come, pastor, you stay in my room today. You don't need to today, yeah. Because sometimes I'm my team, so we fellowship. Oh, you see so much of complaining here and complaining there. I said, Pastor, we don't complain. They say your, 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 your children are about to fall to sin. You attack him or you pray for him? Pray lah. So they are our brother. That's why I always encourage the, the self group. Uh. What do you call it? Self group or what? Huh? Life group is very important. Many of you don't want to go to life group. No, la, my pastor never preach. La. I, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, never preach in the life group. La. I don't want to go. La. I tell you, it's very important. I remember when I was, I was so all you, all the life group people come. They even carry me, you know. Oh, shit. <laughs> they carry me to the church. <laughs> oh, shit. So interesting. How many attend live group today? Can I see your hand? Don't be, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Just be truly be the Lord. Yeah? So how many of you never attend live group? Yeah. Go in. Go attend. You will be blessed. See? You really have opportunity to pray for these people. You are blessed. Do you know? When you have intimacy with the Lord, when you have intimacy, you have fellowship with Jesus Christ all the time, more than you sleep. Wow, who say? Are you doing that or not more than you sleep? Or more than you see this? Oh, shit. Like that. I encourage you in fellowship with Lord Jesus Christ. Eight hours a day, including sitting here, including reading Bible, including go to ring, pray, chapter, all this, your fellowship with Jesus Christ. Yeah. Practice. Never mind, one hour. Starting one hour, two hours, so slowly, gradually, make, make sure every day you increase, increase, make sure that your peace is always getting better and better. So you must know that your peace must be getting better, higher and higher, higher and higher, and your love is getting deeper and deeper. Your peace is getting deeper and deeper each and every day of your life. That means you're moving on the right track. You can know. Last time, you want to give uh, to food to, to, to any cat or dog, you, you very hesitate. Today, ho, oh, you will give. Today, you will just people you don't know, you just give like that. Yeah, dear Minister, I give 50 ringgit to one, one, one sister there. Do you don't know? And God tell me, give to him, her. I didn't know she's a widow in the train. See? Don't ask. Your wife and don't ask your husband if your Holy Spirit. Yeah. Give first and after you can tell them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because sometimes the, the devil will stop enough. <laughs> okay? So it's very important. Starting today. Don't the self-group are very important to you. We'll pray for you. When you go into self group, you are blessed, you know? You are blessed. You don't want to go to be blessed. Huh? Go and get blessing. Because it's one accord. In the Bible say that. One accord. Take a look at one accord. A very interesting one accord. One accord is a, take a look at Act one fourteen. One accord. See? You got a little bit of time, you just share a little bit of this 
a little self group. That means you have start to do a self group. You want to be blessed, right? Go. Then you mind only once a once a week or once every two weeks. Once a week. Go, huh? Twice a twi- twice a month. Go twice a month. Yeah, yeah. You don't have nothing to do. Pray for me, lah. Yeah, hey, you t- tell you a lot of blessing, you know. I tell you, I, every day I pray. I get up, oh, Holy Spirit, show me who to pray, who to pray. I pray. If let's say I have no ministry to do, I tell you one, one, one day, uh, twice, morning, sometime, uh, maybe around before 1 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Oh, that's my prayer time. They continue, 1 o'clock, they. In prayer and circulation, big woman, Mary, all this, all this. Act 2, verse 1. It's also 1 o'clock, so many 1 o'clock. I always encourage 1 o'clock, go. Join self group. Because you always you have to go to self group again. Yeah. But when you go in one accord, so many things happen. So many things happen in one unity. Yeah? One accord in one place. So many things. I can give you so many Bible words in one accord. Because when you have one accord, because the few of them is so much of intimacy, so much of, you know what is the meaning? Fellowship with Jesus Christ. There is a moment you also fellowship with Jesus Christ in one accord. So I encourage you, self-group, and believe, when you pray, you can bring revival in the place. So I encourage you, self-group, be edified with fire. Believe that you can do that. Amen? Today we want to pray in one accord. Together, we're going to pray in one accord afterwards, and then come for a new anointing. The new fire, we're going to pray. Yeah, shortly. Amen? I believe everyone will speak in tongue. Who haven't speak in tongue yet? Be shy. You haven't speak in tongue? Anybody haven't speak in tongue here? But everyone of us can speak in tongue, in other tongue, you know? As long as you believe. Do you know it's in the Bible? Yeah? You believe. You must believe that you speak other tongue. You believe that you have, you have the power. You must believe, yes, I can speak in other tongue. Before we, we go into uh, pray for everybody, we just want to pray that everyone will speak in tongue. In one accord, okay? But you can use this prayer to do to pray for other people. I have prayed for many people, even the moment they accept Jesus, they begin to speak in other tongue. You believe. Because every one of us, when anointed with Holy Spirit, healing will take place. Believe that Jesus is going to lay hand on you personally and you'll be healed. Yeah. Okay? So, from today onward, start to do, release the fire, revival fire, everywhere. Go everywhere, you go to, you know where, whenever I go, whenever I go, I will go to shopping complex. No shopping, eh? I will go and pray, shut up, oh shit. I go to maybe, uh, Sukabumi, maybe I got shopping complex, I go to Supra Shatara, I pray. Yeah. Release his glory to bring the revival fire in any place. You can do that. Go to all the mall. Who want to go to all the mall in Saramban to pray? Just pray in tongues. Just proclaim Jesus is King of Kings, Jesus Lord of Lords. Go and do that.
for those who want to have the touch of the Lord, come. One of ministry is, my ministry is to let you touch the Lord, a new touch of the Lord. Yeah. It doesn't mean, it doesn't matter that, well, just touch the Lord. Come forward here for touch the Lord. Come forward, you want to have a touch of the Lord. And then for those who are speaking in tongue, we're going to pray for all those people. A new touch of the Lord, come forward. You want to have a touch, come forward. It's so much better to have a touch of the Lord. My ministry, that God has given me a special ministry to pray that you have a touch of the Lord. Yeah? God, God is going to hug you. It doesn't matter whatever you want to pray for. When the Lord touch you, He's going to release a new gift unto you. For those who haven't speak other tongue, you're going to speak other tongue.